Oh, now, this is something I've been looking forward to ever since it was announced, and it's been on my wish list ever since it entered the Steam directory, and this is Code Vein. If you would like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. This video is not sponsored in any way. I just love this game. I think it's fantastic. It's got a Dark Souls vibe to it, and, well, we're going to be playing with the Japanese voices, so if you have a problem with that, well, you, you know where you can take that. But otherwise, the point is, is that there are subtitles, so you will be able to understand everything. Otherwise, let's start a new game. Alright, so this is when we get to create our own character. Now, there are uh, there are some presets that you can choose from. And here's the thing. I think this is the, well, basically, th probably the best character creator that I have ever seen in any game. I know there's been a lot of people saying that the character creator is really, really good. And I was just like, okay, well, yeah, that's fine. That's all, that's all very well and good, but I obviously hadn't tried it yet. So I obviously did not know either way whether that was the case. But it indeed is. Now, these are some of the presets. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom out here so you can see everything change. So you can see these are all the presets that you can go for. You, you can, of course, play as a female character as well, if you so desire. And there are just as abundant customization options with that as there are with the male and you can see that like if you just want to jump into the game real quick boom you can just do that if you want to go for advanced settings you can change your physique you can be a little bit thinner you can be a little bit wider we're going to just make ourselves average <laughs> i guess and you can change your skin color you can go for absolutely everything you can go for complete white bear in mind that we are a vampire so i guess we're going to go for something like that Voices. So, yeah, let's take a look. Let's do greeting. Okay, I guess we'll go for type 10. Uh, that guy seems pretty sassy. So, we're just going to save this in the first slot. And then we're gonna go, I guess. We're gonna confirm this. 
Okay, so let's remember our name. Okay, so what name are we? Ah, oh, <laughs> jams. レブナントとして目覚めの時を迎えるレブナントとして生きるために知っておいてほしいことがあるのよく聞いてレブナントはその地にブラッドコードという特別な力を宿すのどんな力のブラッドコードが自分に宿っているのか実際に試して確認してみ
やはりあなたは<音声>さあどうぞこれを。新たな泉と労働力どちらも確保だ<笑>今日はついてるぜさて楽しいお仕事の時間ださてもうすぐ血類の実を探しに行くぞ早く準備をしろお目覚めかいおっと静かになお連れさんさっき眠ったところだここも枯れたか勝機が濃くなっているなくせ次の聴衆まで時間がないってのに準備完了しましたああすぐ行くふん<笑>枯れているのはこいつらも同じかそそうです枯れてますからこんな勝機の中での探索は無茶です今日はこれが何かわかるな血類だろそうこの血類を今から探してきてもらうこの先の地下道でな血税の徴収日まであと少しだが今の俺たちに余分な血類なんてないこのままじゃ血も涙もねえシルバの犬どもに身ぐるみ全部剥がされちまうまあそういうわけだなんで僕たちがそんなこと文句があるなら血税なんてクソみたいな制度を作ったシルバー様に直談判でもするんだなまずはお前らださっさと動けダメだみんなを巻き込んでしまう今は従うしかないよ次おっとお前は俺たちと留守番だ戻ったら返してやる回収した血類と交換にな最近はここらにもハンターが出るそうだ全滅だけは勘弁してくれよさっさと行けえいっおい大丈夫かここから上に戻るのは無理か帰りは別の道を探さないとなあ俺オリバー・コリンズって言うんだよろしくな Well, it looks like Oliver has a massive weapon. And,、uh, well, that's pretty crazy. Anyway, when you rest near missile, your HP and regeneration uses are restored along with your i c o r However, your i c o r stock limit will return to normal if it's been increased by gifts. You can also acquire gifts contained in your blood codes by selecting Acquire Inherit Gifts and increase your gift proficiency using items. Lastly, beware that defeated enemies will revive after you rest. Right, so let's rest.
Uh, we can actually level up right now, but I don't actually even have anything. You can teleport, you can do the tutorial, you can go into storage, and so on and so forth. Don't really want to do any of that. Let's take a look at what we currently are, and we've actually acquired a new uh, new voice okay. phrase, which is pretty okay. cool. Okay, so we can play as Ranger, Fighter, or Caster. I'm going to play as a Ranger for the moment, because I personally feel like that would be... Uh, can I? Nope. Doesn't look like I can do that. Well, I can I can technically fight like this, but it's probably not the best idea. So I'm just going to go back to fighter for the moment because that is much better in melee combat. And there we go. We picked up some lost shards. Oh, hello there. Oh, okay. He kills things instantly, basically. Well, he does a lot of damage, that's for sure. All right, so there are back attacks, which I failed to do because I am just really that good. But anyway, let's see if I can do some little bit here. He does so much damage. What? Why does he do so much damage? I want to be able to do that much damage. That's kind of... Sad. Okay, what's this? Uh, more lost shards. Okay, so I, I think I'm pretty happy right now. Now, let me just tell you something. Code Vein is a game that just came out, right? This game plays smooth. It plays so incredibly smooth. I'm really, really surprised that it's playing this smoothly. Usually on my PC, it does not play smoothly with Unreal Engine 4, which I, I, I think this is what that uh, what the engine is being used here is. And it's just crazy good. Anyway, we've got some regeneration items right here. And uh, I could technically use them. I guess, why not? I mean, we are full HP now, so I suppose that's pretty good. He does so much damage. What? He does so much damage. Okay, well, I guess I'll just leave him to it then, because he's just absolutely murdering everything. Okay, so what's this? A nice chest. Give me that. A heavy axe. Oh, yeah. Give me that heavy axe. I'd like to use that. Yes. There we go. All right. So that, that's much better. That is much better. Yes, this is the kind of weapon I would like. Okay, each piece of equipment has stat requirements and all that stuff. Yeah, so we already know that dependent on your class or your blood code in this case, you can only use a certain amount of different weapons. So for example, with, with the fighter, it concentrates on strength and dexterity. With the ranger, it concentrates on dexterity and light sort of weapons. And then the caster focuses on using gifts, which are basically spells to attack and is not very good at actual, you know, melee combat. So, I'm just going to stay with the fighter for the moment. You lose any haze in your possession. Ooh, now that's nice. Look at that. Look at how much damage we just dealt there. Yeah, so we lose any haze in your possession when you die. This lost haze can be reclaimed by returning to the thing. Yes, okay, I understand. Okay, what is also really cool that I'm seeing right here is that we have a mini-map. Now, the mini-map does not actually show us anything about the environment itself. But what it does show us is where we have currently already been, which is so incredibly helpful. You have no idea how, well, you probably do know how helpful that is, because, you know, in other RPGs, they're just going to leave you to it, you know? They're just going to leave you to it, and, oh, yeah, falling yeah, falling here would be seriously bad news. Yeah, thank you very much, Oliver. Yes, I kind of, I kind of picked, up, pick, picked up on that, should I say. Anyway, being able to see where you've been on the, on the mini-map is really, really nice. Let's, uh, let's just chop a bunch of this down. There seems to be an enemy here as well. Oliver is doing so much damage. I really don't even need to do much. But now that I have this heavy axe, it really is making a nice difference. Okay, so let's, now we can do a launch attack. If we want to, I think. Oh, well. Uh, let's try and do that again. Oh, there we go. So that's, that's the launch attack. So you can do a launch attack by holding RB, and then it just, you know, you can just do that like so. It's pretty hard to do, like that. Yeah, there you go. So you can kind of just stand still. Oh, there we go. We actually mastered some gifts, apparently. And let's do... Okay, that's a gift. So you can see there, that's one of the fighter gifts, which is kind of like a, a spell slash ability. And you can do that, and you use health by using these things. So if you see me t take damage right there, it's not actually me taking damage, even though I did get hit once. 
but the point is is that you use your your health your blood to be able to attack with some abilities so it's very much a risk and reward kind of style of gameplay okay so we can pick that up okay so now what we also picked up is we were able to get the bayonet and i personally really like the ranged combat in this game i don't know about you but i really like it so you can see here you can attack just normally you can also shoot with your gun and you can do quite a bit right there so you can also can you can you uh, reload how do i reload not, not exactly sure how i reload at the moment but i guess we'll we'll figure that out as we progress Ooh, nice dodge also, a nice dodge as the Ranger. Very, very cool. Got much more mobility, I feel, with the Ranger. So, let's see if I can shoot at that guy. Ah, oh, no, not, not enough range. Okay, let's pick up these things. Got some noodles. Yes, I love noodles. Thank you. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm out of ammo. Am I, am I seriously all out of ammo, or can I reload? I'm actually unsure how to do that. Yeah, really good, aren't I? Okay, well, whatever the case. Go, Oliver, kill him. Kill that guy. Yeah, well, I'll help you out a little bit. There we go. Okay. So now we can pick up some more shards. Bear in mind that you can do a charging up attack, which is then going to enable you to... Oh, okay, apparently. Apparently that missed, or something. It is going to enable you to drain Icor. Oh, lost up above? Oh, I, I, oh, oh, I'm being attacked. Get, get him. Get him. There we go. Alright, so, yeah, we're actually gaining ammo back by using melee. Oh, okay, okay. I understand. Okay, so that's that's pretty that's pretty interesting. I'm going to switch back to the heavy axe for the moment because it is just a little bit easier to use. And we're going to be climbing upward very quickly. Okay, what is this? Mapping. During the explanation, when you, uh, exploration, when you purify the miasma in the area, you'll be able to map your surrounding. Yeah, exactly. That's the reason why we can't see anything on the world map right now. You can purify miasma by activating a missile. Purify a rotten missile or defeat the loss that infected. Yeah, there we go. Let's purify. There we go. So now we can actually see the surrounding area, which is really, really cool. Can I rest here? Because I'd like to get my health back. Alright, well, there's more miasma this way. But if I go this way, then I think I'm probably just heading backwards. Oh, there are stairs, though. And there is a chest. Oh, that's nice. Okay, ah, this is a blood veil. All right, so we just got a blood veil, which, as you can see right here, basically what it does is it uh, increases various, uh, various abilities, as far as I'm aware. So, there it is, the Blue Hounds one. This does... Uh, is it better than what I have? Uh, it's a bit better for resist. Wow, it's actually a lot better for resistances and things like that. So maybe it would be an idea to use it. So yeah, and it also changes your look, as you can see. So that's pretty cool. And we have not been through here. No, we haven't, Oliver. Yeah, so your companion is also going to be really, really useful. Because he's going to be able to... Well, he or she is going to be able to basically tell you what's going on and what you're going to be able to do and things like that. So triple annihilator. Should I do anything with this? Health boost. Don't need to do anything there. Don't need to do anything there. Okay. And we can level up if we so desire. So I can just level up straight up. So we can just do that. Let's go to level 2. Why not? And let's move onward. And now we do have additional uses of our healing item as well. So we have been able to get that back, which is pretty nice. Otherwise, let's move down. Let's, uh, let's... Oh, whoa. Did you see that? Okay, yeah, that is pretty cool. Okay, so that is my charging up ability, which I'm hopefully going to be able to use on this guy. Look at that. That is so cool. Oh, okay, yeah, that is, that is pretty cool. I like it. And he's dead. Ah, oh, he did, he did hit me at the end there, which is not very nice of him, but it's all right. Not too bad. Yeah, we don't want to go down here, I don't think. Okay, so let's move back up here. We don't have that much stamina. Bear that in mind. Oh, 
どうしたどこか怪我でもついてないな少し休んでから行くよ<笑>大丈夫だっていいからほら君は血類を探さないとあの子が待ってるから。Right, so apparently we're just leaving our companion now. I don't know whether I really want to do that because I'm probably going to die by myself, let's face it. Right. Okay, so, oh, look at this. We can actually parry. Okay, how does this guy actually attack, even? Oh, there's the parry. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's just like Dark Souls, where I'm going to be absolutely awful with parries. So I'm just going to get away from here, thanks very much. And then we're going to do heavy attack. Yeah, there we go. So much damage. And taking him down. Yeah, I should have just done that to begin with, but I really wanted to show off the uh, the parry mechanic. Wanted to show you the parry mechanic. Ooh, here we go, here we go. Yes! You see that damage? Wow, that is a big enemy. That is a big enemy. Okay, yeah. Could you, could you just uh, leave me alone real quick? Wow, that is a lot of damage that he's able to do. But thankfully, I can do a lot of damage too. And I'm just going to heal myself a little bit. Okay, I think something is also behind me, isn't there? Seems like there's something around there. Can I get through here? Ah, hello there. Yes, you want to attack. That's absolutely fine. really wanting to use my charge up ability but it seems like I'm very bad at using it right now because it's it's uh, kind of short range it's kind of short range so we'll have to try something a little bit to get that working Yeah, that seems like a much easier way to, to play, uh, at least for the moment. I think the uh, being able to sprint into an attack, I think that is really, really cool, because that makes it so that you can basically use a two-handed to be pretty quick. So basically every single attack right now has like a wind-up. So, I mean, of course, you, you know, you're using a big two-handed. But if you dash very quickly and then use it, the wind-up is not so much, and it seems to be a little bit, maybe extra range. Not entirely sure whether that's true, but whatever the case, I, I see that it, it might be it might be pretty good. Let's use a nice big attack on this guy, because I'd like to try and prevent him from doing a little bit more damage to me. Ugh, yes, of course I'm going to be taking more damage. Alright, well, we're exploring pretty... Oh, hello. Yeah, I should have seen that coming, shouldn't I? We're exploring pretty well so far. Oh, we also have Icor Concentrate. Hmm. Well, I don't really want to use that right now, so we're just going to sneak up on this guy. Oh, sneak up on this guy, too. Oh, apparently no sneaking up. No sneaking up is going to happen here. But it's alright, because our two-handed axe had our back. Ooh, region extension factor. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, I, I don't know what that does, but hopefully we will find out soon. I'm just going to move away a little bit here. 
Oh, nice. That was some nice damage that he was able to do right there. Okay, now I'm got now I've got to be careful. <laughs> uh, now now I'm being careful. Yes, okay. That guy's got a shield. I wonder whether I can jump. Mm, yeah, I can probably jump down, but that's probably not going to be too uh, mm, well, too well advised, shall we say? Oh, hello. I think this is a place where we can activate. Yes. And we have mapped the surrounding area. I can also rest here. And I can get back all of my HP. But of course, all of the enemies will respawn, which is going to be a bit of an issue. But we're going to level ourselves up once again. And let's get to level 4. Why not? Alright, so that seems pretty good to me. And no other loot around here? No. Okay, I'm, I'm going to continue going down here because we haven't seen what's down here just yet. Oh, that guy's, that guy's dead or not willing to... Oh, hello. お前も探索者か。どうやら一人みたいだな。俺も今回は一人で探索を行っていたのだが、この先に進むのに連れ合いが欲しかったところだ。どうだろう。今回の探索が終わるまででもいい。同行しないか。騙して襲うような真似はし
so your blood has special properties that can activate dried up blood spring. Once revived, the blood spring will start producing blood beads again. These blood beads have the same composition as human blood. Revenants have been using them to quench their bloodthirst. And that is exactly the reason why we've been sent down here. Right. Okay, so can I do anything with this? Can I rest here? No, no. Okay. Well, hopefully I will be able to find another missile relatively soon. Is that it? Yes, there is one. Okay, fantastic. That's really, really good. I guess they knew. They knew that the boss was like, oh yeah, the boss is going to really murder these people. So yeah, it's pretty good that they did that. Okay, so... Ah, okay, so we can other we can do other things. Ah, temporarily creates a barrier around you and your partner that boosts blood resistance. Or we can do... Reduces stamina spent while you are focused. And adrenaline boosts attack power temporarily. Right. Okay, well, I don't know whether I really want to get either of these. I guess I'll get this. Uh-huh. Okay, once you become fully proficient with the gift, you will unlock the ability to inherit it. Okay. So, if I go to... Okay, so if I go to my menu now, I can now add that. Or I should be able to add that. There you go. That's a passive, right? Yeah, that's a passive. So there, there's the passive. And then I have my other things right here that are... What, what is what is this, actually? Spend your own HP to restore the HP of companions. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> oh, I was using that as an attack because I thought, oh, yes, that's an attack, isn't it? But no. Okay, well, I... Wait, wait a minute. Is there anything else down here? I, I, thought, I thought that there wasn't. No, it is just literally that. He was talking about something, and I was like, oh, maybe he knows something that I don't. Uh, we're apparently not far from the surface now, according to him. Okay. Well, there's another chest here. Ooh, Queen Slayer Blade. Hmm, that is actually quite fun to use, I think. Where is it? There it is. Okay, so it doesn't have as good scaling uh, as our current weapon. But it has better scaling with dexterity. It is a lot quicker to use as well. Because it is basically a one-handed in comparison to the other one. So I think I'm going to actually use this instead of the heavy axe. And we'll just see how it goes. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, that, that was probably very good to have a companion with me it seems like the companions are really good like they really are going to help you a great deal so if you want to increase the difficulty of the game dramatically then you know what to do you know what to do you definitely don't want to take a companion in that case but for me i'm perfectly happy to have someone along to uh, help me out a little bit here and there a lot <laughs> in other words <laughs> Okay, there's a bunch of enemies here. I'm gonna try and use my adrenaline, do some more damage. We can do so much damage with this blade. Yeah, I think I like this blade quite a bit more than the previous weapon. So it seems like faster attacking weapons I quite like. So I think that's pretty nice. And it seems we always get attacked by those big guys really, really aggressively as well. Okay, there we go. That's easy enough to kill. And they actually drop things. They drop lost shards by the looks of things. Oh, and a stun vaccine too. Alright, so let's try and see if I can... Uh, can I use something against this guy? Doesn't seem like it, but pretty easy to get through. Ah, there's another item. I doubt you would have missed it, stranger. You're, you're, very, you're very good. You're very proficient at what you do. So I doubt you would have missed that item. Let's face it. What do we have here? Ah, yes, it's another one of these. Okay, fantastic. So we can just purify that, and now we can see exactly what's going on on the map. That's cool. And I don't think that this is a resting place. So it just uncovers the map, basically. Yes.
ロスタに落ちたやつ二度と元には戻らない迷いを捨てろ I actually love how in every single cutscene,、uh, it's basically using my, my weapons, my, my characters using my weapon, my actual weapon in the game. That is really, really cool in my opinion. That's a really cool touch because usually in these kinds of cutscenes, you're not really going to see、uh, your character using the weapon that you're actually using. You know what I mean? That you actually have equipped. So they'll usually give you like a default weapon or something like that. But in this, no, they're actually doing the thing where, you know, oh wow, this guy's actually doing the thing. As you can quite clearly see. Wow, what, what a beast. Okay, so I've got to be a bit careful here, and I have to make sure that my stranger friend lives because he absolutely saved me, like no one's business, from that sucker punch that this guy decided to do on me. Ow. That hurt. Okay, so let's try and move away a little bit. Let's try and heal myself. Okay, problematic. Problems. Problems. There are problems. Let's heal. No. Okay, oh, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm almost dead. Okay, let's be a bit careful. I'm just gonna heal again, and I'm gonna actually heal him now. There we go. I healed him back to full HP, and now he can hopefully finish this off while I distract it. A little bit. I have literally no more regeneration remaining, so I hope that he is gonna be able to do it. Maybe not. Got him. Phew. <laughs> oh, that was close. Buzzy, that's a good one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. 血液かそいつには触らない方がいい触れたものに侵食しロストに変える危険な石だささやきに耳を貸すな誰かが犠牲になるしかないんだ血類がなければ俺たちはその子が落ち着いたらここを離れよう誰かが Ah, okay, so it seems like I do have to pick up the vestige, I would assume. Yeah. Do I? Do I really need to? Uh, I kind of already did that. Ah, yes, it seems like I do have to pick this up. What? 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 だけは勘弁してくれそれを持っていかれたら俺は血類を治めるのが母国に住むレブナントに定められた義務だ例外はない許せるせ大人お母様お母様誰かが犠牲になるしかないんだ血類がなければ俺たちは数少ない人間のほとんどが
シルバの管理下にある俺たちのようなノラのレブナントは死に物狂いで血類を探さなくちゃならないのさたとえ他のレブナントを犠牲にしてでも罰が当たったんだろうなきっとせいぜいあいつだけでも助かってくれればうわっ記憶の残滓失われた記憶がたゆたう場所参りましょうあの階段を進めば元の場所に戻れますこれはあのロストの過去いやまさかそんな。今のは一体記憶あの血液に刻まれていた持ち主のまさか俺も一緒に引き込まれるとは溶け合ったのですねあなたと信じられないこれもお前の力なのかついてきてくれ今は休める場所が必要だろう俺はルイ血類の研究をしているよろしくな Now we have unlocked a new class. Yes, so if you didn't know, well, in Code Vein, basically, when you defeat enemies, for example, Oliver, we are then able to equip new classes. So basically, your class doesn't even really matter. You can just change it at any time you like, and you can use different abilities, different armor, different weapons. As a result of that class change. So you can see here that we just unlocked a Berserker, which features high strength and endurance. Its low I core stock can be offset with heavy armor. あの霧の出現によってあらゆるものが閉じ込められシルバが君臨するレブラント社会が誕生した霧の牢獄霧に閉じ込められたこの世界はいつしかそう呼ばれるようになった血を求めて危険な正気の中を歩き回り何度も死に戻りながら血類を探していく毎日レブナントには血が必要だ血に乾けばあの化け物ロストに変貌してしまうお前を捕らえた連中たちもまたロストの恐怖におののき血を求めたありきたりのレブナントだけれどさざ波は立ったお前は正気を晴らし血類の泉を再生させたな どこでその力を手に入れた記憶の欠損か他に覚えていること珍しいなほとんどの記憶を失うとは彼女もそうだったがしばらくゆっくりするといいここは好きに使ってくれ
Well, I will do just that, Louis. Thank you very much for showing me around and your hospitality. I suppose this is our main hub. And that will be it for the first episode of Code Vein. If you would like to see more from me of this game, then by all means let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, if you'd like to play the game for yourself, there is a link in the description. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.